No glove, no pepper love. <laughs> Salutations and welcome to the farm. Well, we're coming up here on the end of our garden season and I have been blessed with just a basket full of these beautiful little peppers. Some are sweet, some are spicy. We got these in a little four cell pack over at our farm store. They were marked down to 60 cents. They were all supposed to be these little purple peppers, but as you can see, somebody mixed something up in here because we have sweet peppers. We have, halt, uh, we have hot peppers, we have, little, we have little scotch bonnet peppers, we have all kinds of peppers here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making some sweet and spicy pepper jelly that we can give out for Christmas gifts. So good over some cream cheese with some beautiful crackers. Now I'd like to say that all of these beautiful bell peppers are out of my garden, however, my chickens breached security and they ate our peppers this year. I was able to get one green pepper, but they ate the rest. Keeping in mind, I have a very small garden, but I was able to pick up all of these beautiful peppers. I'm going to pair them with these beautiful peppers that are out of my garden, and we're gonna make some confetti pepper jelly. I'm gonna call it pepper fetti. I think that sounds fun and festive. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my food processor to get all of these processed. I'm going to use the grater so it just chops them into fine little pieces that will float in the jelly and be so pretty. I'm not going to bore you with cutting and chopping every single one. I'll just put little snippets in, but I'm going to use every bit of the peppers that I can and we're going to make some delicious jelly. make sure you come back the tops of your peppers just go ahead and remove the stem and use the top of the pepper don't waste any of it it's all gonna go into our food processor now when you cut your peppers make sure you remove the membrane inside nobody wants that in their pepper jelly Take your knife and just slice it right out. Super easy. So I've already got my first few peppers run through and just look at how beautiful this is going to be. We have red, orange, green, and yellow peppers. And once we throw in those darker red peppers and the purple peppers and the lighter green. It's just going to be an array of colors in our beautiful pepper jelly. As Rachel Ray says, it's always good to have a good thank you for coming bowl. So all of these little scraps, we're just gonna thank you for showing up here and they're gonna go in the bowl and they're gonna go out to my chickens later. So thanks guys for showing up. We got something planned for you later. Now we want seven cups of peppers just these sweet peppers here for our recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish processing these and then we're gonna process these little peppers out of the garden and I will be wearing gloves for those. Don't cut up your spicy peppers, whether it be jalapenos, habaneros, or any other type of pepper, except for these sweet peppers, don't cut any spicy peppers without wearing gloves. Trust me, you'll regret it later. Okay, we have all of our sweet peppers here in this bowl. I've got the sieve on top of them just to keep any unwanted guests out. And now we're gonna work on this basket of peppers that I got out of the garden. Some of these peppers are quite hot, so I'm gonna make sure I wear gloves. And we're just gonna go ahead and just have these, take the seeds out, and then pop them into the food processor. No glove, no pepper love. <laughs> okay, now the, the purple peppers, they're sweet pepper. So they're not gonna give us a lot of heat, but they're gonna give us a beautiful color. So you just, again, wanna take out the membrane, take out the seeds, because we just want the beautiful color right now. And you may say, oh, country mama, 
don't give those hot peppers to your chickens. That's not very nice. Do you know that chickens cannot pick up a heat? They lack the taste buds to pick up heat. So it doesn't matter if you give them a sweet pepper or a hot pepper, it's just a pepper to them. They're not gonna have burning little mouths running all over the chicken yard. Here's these little red ones that are spicy, spicy. These are these little hot red peppers. That one hits you as soon as you open up. It's hot, it's spicy. So I'm gonna process all of these little peppers and we'll be back when we're ready to actually start our recipe. Because there's a lot of liquid that has come off of these peppers. Look, you don't want this going into your jelly. It's just gonna take you that much longer to cook it down. So run it through a sieve, get all of that excess fluid out. And then you're able to move on to your next step. Well, we've got all of our peppers chopped. Now, of course, you can do this on a cutting board. Just chop them fine, but the food processor makes such light work of it. So we have our sweet peppers here, our bell peppers, and here are the peppers out of our garden. And just imagine how beautiful this is going to be once we get it all put together. I'm hoping I have seven cups here. We're gonna put seven cups of the sweet peppers with one cup of the spicy peppers, and we're gonna put those in a heavy bottom pot so we can get those onto the heat and get those breaking down. We're gonna add our other ingredients to them, so let's get working on that. I'm keeping the gloves on until I'm completely done working with these raw peppers. So first off, we want seven cups of our sweet peppers in here, so let's get those going. It doesn't have to be precise, but you do want to be as close as you can. And if you see any large chunks of peppers that didn't go through the processor all the way, just toss those out. You don't want those big chunks in your pretty pepper fetti jelly. So there's three. We want seven cups. Five, six. I might have enough left over to do a half batch in a little while. There's seven. And to the seven cups of sweet peppers, we're gonna put one cup of the hot pepper in it. I'm gonna pile that on a little heavy because we had some small sweet peppers mixed in with the hot peppers. I think it's safe now for me to take these gloves off. Woo! Let's get this going. So we're gonna add a few ingredients to our beautiful pepper mixture here, and we're gonna put it on a medium heat, and we're gonna start processing this, getting all of these flavors out, marrying them all together, and then we're gonna add our sugar. Now this is a no pectin recipe. We're not gonna be adding pectin. We're gonna be utilizing the sugars and cooking this down and using the pectin out of the sweet peppers to get our jelly. But what we wanna add before we start heating this up is we do wanna add two tablespoons of butter, a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, and a quarter cup of white wine vinegar. This is gonna be beautiful. Let's put it on a medium heat and start bringing this up. Now, as this is coming up to heat, we're gonna add four cups of white granulated sugar. And I know you're gonna say, oh, that's a lot of sugar. But remember, it's a jelly. And to this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of sea salt. You can use sea salt, kosher salt. You can use uh, your canning salt. Just don't use iodized salt. You don't want the iodized salt. And here's the fun part, guys. This recipe calls for red pepper flakes. It calls for three tablespoons. I don't think I'm gonna do three, but I do think I will do two heaping tablespoons of red pepper flakes. Oh my goodness. I think I might even back that off a little bit. That's gonna be spicy. But the men in this family are gonna love it. Get everything well incorporated, get that sugar mixed in there. And this is gonna start cooking down quick once all of that sugar gets going and that heat comes up. We're gonna start making some jelly. This is gonna be colorful. It's going to be flavorful. Oh, I can't wait. So we're gonna bring this up to a rapid boil. 
and then we're going to let this just go while we stir it for 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to cook off a lot of the liquid that we need out of here, a lot of the moisture. And it's just going to cook this jelly down with that sugar. And remember we have, right now we have this just on a medium high heat. We don't want to bring it up too quick because we don't want to scorch it. We don't want to burn the sugar. Now while this is cooking, I'm going to be getting my jars ready in my water bath cannon. Now we're going to let this cook down for 15 to 20 minutes so we get a lot of this moisture out of here and then we're going to test it to see if we have a good consistency. Okay, our jelly has processed. I've tasted it. It is spicy, but it's sweet and it's so delicious. So I've got all of my canning stuff ready. Let's get some into the jars. Got my canner set up behind me. I'm going to process these in the little eight ounce half pint jars because I want to give them for gifts. And they're just perfect to give with a block of cream cheese and some crackers. And you want to fill it to the quarter inch headspace. I've got my paper towel with some white vinegar on it. We're going to wipe the rim. We don't want anything sticky on the rim of our jar. Got my lids in some hot water. I don't boil them, but I do put them in some hot water. And we're just gonna fingertip tight to the, the rims. So what I like to do is I just put a little pressure and twist. I don't hold it, it burns your hands, but I push down to the counter and twist. That should give us just the right amount of pressure for a finger tight tip, for a finger for fingertip tight. It should give us just the right amount for fingertip tight. We put this in the canner and get another jar. I don't think I'm going to get as many jars out of this as I wanted. I think it cooked it down quite a bit. It's a lot more pepper than it is jelly, but it is beautiful. You can get this one without overfilling it. Looks almost right. Look at that. Want just a little bit more juice in there. Just a little juice. is definitely more pepper than jelly. <laughs> I am short a lid. I might have double lids on one of those. We'll have to check them after they process. Might have two lids on one jar. It happens. Now I'm getting low on my jelly and this jar is full. I'm not sure if I have enough for another full jar. Matter of fact, I'm almost positive I don't. We'll see. I'm gonna get another jar and then we'll divvy it up between the two. And as long as we're close to our headspace, we'll process them both and not worry about it. So we're gonna process these in a water bath canner for 15 minutes. Check your altitude. I'm doing 15 because I'm above 1,000 sea foot level. If you're below that, you can do 10 minutes. Check with ball standards. See if you need to add more time based on your altitude where you live. Well, it's the next day. It's been about 24 hours. And I'm sorry that I wasn't able to show you taking all of the jars out of the canner. But Papa Jim came home and it was time to throw together some dinner and I just kind of got behind on recording. But nonetheless, here we are the next day and I was able to can 12 beautiful half pints of this beautiful sweet and spicy pepper jelly. Now I did it in two batches and I'll show you the difference and you might be able 
to even see it here. Now this is the first batch that I did where we just kept cooking those peppers down with the sugar. We didn't add any pectin. You can see it's this beautiful amber color. I was able to get a second batch in, but because of time, I went ahead and I threw some pectin in, and that's this batch here. It's a little lighter in color, but they both taste beautiful. We sampled both of them. Now, for my first batch, I forgot to put vinegar in my water, and we're on well water. So a lot of these, you can see they kind of look yucky. You can see where I pushed in to make sure that I got a good seal. Well, you know, if you get something like this and you forget to put the vinegar in your water, it's okay. When you clean these up, they're gonna shine up beautifully. Everything's gonna be great and you're gonna have a beautiful product at the end. Now what I'm gonna do with these is I am going to remove the rings, wash these up real good, get them labeled and get them in the pantry. You want to make sure you remove the rings so you don't end up with a false seal. And also for something like this that's so sticky and sugary, if you did get a little bit of seepage on the outer edge of your jar, you don't want that trapped underneath that ring to create mold that could leach in and get into your really beautiful jelly or anything that you've worked on. All of that hard work would go to waste. So I'm going to clean these up. I'm also going to take these outside and I'll take some beautiful pictures so you can see them in the sunlight and see just how gorgeous they are. But I'm gonna get these all put up in my pantry and I'm moving on to my sweet onion jam. I've brought my turkey roaster in because last time I made this, I made it in just my electric skillet and I didn't have enough room. So I'm gonna use my turkey roaster. But I'm gonna get these in the pantry. One son has already claimed a jar and it has walked out the door and Papa Jim tried some last night and he said it's delicious. So I'm looking forward to having these in the pantry this year. What we'll do is when we have company over or if we're in a mood for a snack, we'll just open up a jar, pour some right over some cream cheese and eat it with some crackers. Now, one thing I wanted to note, even though we cooked this batch an extra long time and this batch we use pectin, and I say that it's a sweet pepper jelly, it really is a little bit more like a sauce the consistency is a little loose. I didn't get a really firm, firm jelly out of this, and that's okay. That's what I want. I want it to be so that when I put it over a block of cream cheese, it just pours over the top of it, and you can scoop some up and eat it. I don't want a real firm jelly on that. So this is exactly how I want it. So I hope you get a chance to make some sweet and spicy pepper fetti jelly for yourself. Try it this holiday season. Give it as a gift or enjoy it yourself. Let me know in the comments if you decide to make some. So until then, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. We'll see you again here on the farm soon.